That time again for another spin of the Wheel of Justice. We team up, as you know, every week with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to help get wanted fugitives off our streets. Public Information Officer Max Morell is joining us again this morning. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Thanks for Jen. being here. Of and course. you have a capture to announce. That we do. So, Ozell Coley, um, he was arrested and he, he actually was wanted for six counts of sale, manufacture, or delivery of fentanyl. Uh, so we're glad that we got him off the street. Fantastic. And we always appreciate anybody who can offer some tips to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for anyone that you see here on the wheel. In the meantime, we have a featured suspect this morning. So let's talk about Michael Lay. Michael Lay is wanted for two counts of sale, manufacture, and delivery of cocaine uh, within a thousand feet of a convenience business. Um, <clears throat> he's also wanted for sale, manufacture, and delivery of cannabis. And he does have a bond of 150000 35 years old. 6'6 six, six in height and 235 pounds. Yeah, well, 6'6, six, six, that should, should certainly stand yep. out to help it's, you maybe find he him. He is definitely yeah. hard to miss. Yeah, so let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see who it lands on this morning. Mr. Rice. So Raymond Rice. Raymond Rice Jr. is wanted for attempted murder, carjacking, and armed burglary. He does have a bond of 1.4 million. He's 31 years old, 5'9", and about 180 pounds. And we want to remind you, if you see one of these suspects, do not approach them. You want to call the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. You can do that at 904-630-0500. Or if you'd like to remain anonymous, you can dial Crime Stoppers at 1-866-845-TIPS. Remember, you're never asked your name, so it is truly anonymous. And if your tip leads to an arrest, you are eligible for a cash reward. In the meantime, though, because the temperatures have been brutally hot out, we want to remind our viewers also about the importance of checking their cars and making sure that, that there's no Abs one, pets or, or children inside. Absolutely, especially as the temperatures get up there. Um, if you're parking outside and it doesn't matter where it is, always check your back seats if you're a parent um, or even if you're a dog owner. You know, it's, it's one of those where we would hate to respond out to a situation where it's already too late. Uh, the temperatures are getting up there. The temperature inside of a vehicle, especially out in the sun, is going to be a lot hotter than it is when, when you're out in the sun. So, And a lot of times the hot car deaths, when it involves children, it's generally, usually an accident. You know, it's there's yes. been a switch in the routine. Someone who doesn't normally take the child to the daycare is doing it that morning, and they just get into autopilot, and they forget that the child's back there. And a lot of times it's they're rear-facing, so you don't see your child sleeping maybe in the back. They don't make any noise, and it happens. Yep, it's always important just to check that back seat. Yeah, 100%. Thank you, Max. We appreciate you. Absolutely.